So you have one of the Amazon Fire TV sticks and you have an issue where the screen is black or maybe you go ahead and you'll see the uh, Amazon Fire TV logo and then it'll go to a black screen. I'll give you guys several options to get you up and running right now. Okay, so first thing to do is this. Now you can see my Fire TV here. I have the uh, HDMI extender here. So first thing is here's the, uh, the um, charging cable in here. What I want you to do is just pull the plug, okay? Go ahead and pull it, wait five seconds, and then go ahead and plug it back in after five seconds. Plug it back in, then go to your TV. Make sure that you're on the correct HDMI port. So mine would be, I think mine is on HDMI 2. Let's see. So go to the correct HDMI port and give it a second, and hopefully you no longer have the black screen. Just give it a little bit of time to boot back up. And there we go. However, if you still have a black screen, next thing to try is, so the next thing to try is this, okay? Go ahead and pull it out, the HDMI. We're gonna pull it out, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in another HDMI port, okay? But first, unplug it, and then go ahead and plug it, after five seconds, plug it back in. And now we're gonna go ahead and plug into a different HDMI port. I'll plug it into there. Now let's go to the correct HDMI port on the TV. I think this one's on HDMI 3 now. Let's go to number 3. And then go ahead and let it boot up. Give it like 30 seconds or so, and hopefully you no longer have a black screen. Okay, so if you still have a black screen, then the next thing is this. Now it's possible that it could be the HDMI extender that's causing the issue. So what I want you to do is go ahead and just pull everything out like this. Now if you have the HDMI extender, let's go ahead and take this off. And what we're going to do is put it in bare bones. But first, let's go ahead and unplug it. Wait five seconds. And now pop it into one of your HDMI ports. I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one. So now I have it in naked. I'm not using the extender. Now make sure you go turn your TV on. Make sure you go to the correct HDMI port. And I think I'm on HDMI 1 now. So let's go to HDMI 1. And then go ahead and give it like 30 seconds or so. Go ahead and let it boot up. And hopefully now you guys are up and running. If this worked for you, uh, let us all know in the comments what step worked for you. Step number one, two, or three. Okay, good luck, guys.